Okay, I'm Pastor Lance again, and uh, I'm, I'm here at the Ogden Temple with Laura Geilman. And Laura has, well, she has a pretty amazing story of how she came to know Jesus Christ, as many of us do. And as cool as each story is, they're all unique, and they all have, well, there's something in everyone that everyone needs to share. And so, so Laura... I discovered Jesus um, accidentally when I went to the temple, and I couldn't feel him in there. And I thought that I wasn't worthy of his love. I thought there was something the matter. I had some unsin, un, unforgiven sin or something. And so I started researching really hard into the history of the church. And that's when I found out things about Joseph Smith that I thought was a, was made up. I thought people were just trying to make him look bad. And then I found other things. And to back up a little bit, when I was a child, I could never figure out why Jesus had to die. I just couldn't figure that out. If I had to do things myself, why did Jesus have to die? And so during that search of trying to find out what was true and why I wasn't filling it in the temple, I realized what Jesus did on the cross, what actually took place on the cross. And he did die for every sin, everyone. And I had a family member who his, his mother was killed by his father, and he could not understand that his father was forgiven if his father accepted Jesus. And it took a while to convince him of that. And he was sick for a while, but when he was dying on his deathbed, I got to witness. I got to witness Jesus coming to him, and it was just so wonderful. And I know in the temple, they have a veil in there and they tack it back up. But when Jesus died, he tore the veil. So we're free now. We, the communication is open for Jesus. And every single day of my life, Jesus is showing me stuff and showing me stuff. And I usually always say the wrong thing when I'm talking to people because I'm so excited and I want to tell them. And I end up, I end up saying the wrong thing. So I pray every night that Jesus just uses my voice to glorify himself, to let the Mormons know because they love Jesus. I was a Mormon and I loved Jesus. It's just they don't understand who he is. He is God incarnate. He put himself into a baby's body and took care of our sin problem. And that's basically my story all wrapped up in a nutshell. I could say a lot more, but my mind is just a spinning right now. Well, Thank Laura, you, it's, <laughs> it's, it's amazing, isn't it, to to have this Jesus in our lives because, because he is not the same Jesus that we worshiped. He is not the same Jesus. He is, he is God incarnate. He's not my elder brother. It, he, is, he created this earth that we live in. I'd, I'd like to ask you one more question. As you live day to day in Christ as a Christian, how is your average day different than it was before you knew Jesus? Oh, it's so different. Everything I see, I see Jesus, especially in the sky, especially in the mountains, and the, just the glory of how beautiful this earth is. Cold days, hot days, whatever. Bad days, I still see Jesus all the time. He's always with me. And you're never alone? No. <laughs> with, that perfect, with that perfect statement, we will close. We are never alone when we are in Christ Jesus.